Hello and welcome to episode 14 of series 3 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Now before we get into the episode, a uh, little bit of good news for you actually. If you've ever wondered what it's like to watch Eggy play football in real life, then we could well be getting a chance to do that on Thursday. He has travelled from Poland back to Indonesia where they are currently holding, or they're about to hold, the Asian Football Confederation Under-19 Tournament, which is a massive tournament with a lot of teams. Uh, Australia, Japan, etc. All those Asian teams will be playing. And on Thursday the 18th, this Thursday, at 1 o'clock GMT, I'm not sure what that works out where you are, but you can work it out, Eggy will likely be playing for the Indonesian Under-19 side against Chinese Taipei, so it should be a good time to see him uh, dominate a game, you'd expect, so I'm going to be watching it, certainly. Uh, I remember I tried to watch one before, and actually there were a lot of illegal streams going around, so you should be able to find one of them. i be very interested to see what he looks like in real life. There's a little bit of footage coming out in the last couple of days of some friendly games that they've been playing in. It looks uh, looks pretty tidy in them, so exciting. Obviously, we'll all be supporting Indonesia, hoping they can go far in the tournament. Uh, but back to this reality, and Eggy, obviously, as we know, is having a great season. Waslan Beverend have dropped off the pace massively, but the chances are we're looking to move to Holland. Yep, we want to move into the Eredivision. And uh, a lot of you suggesting a few different teams that we could go for. Uh, Ajax, I think we've all agreed, probably a little bit out of our reach. Uh, PSV. That would be a great team to play for. Really exciting. Angelino and Maxi Romero, to name just two of their players, who might be uh, recognisable to fans of Master League Story Mode. Uh, Feyenoord as well. They've had a few shouts. Vitesse. They're not doing too well, though. They're in ninth. Um, but they'd be an interesting one to go to. Uh, Utrecht. I think a few people mentioned them. And, I mean, it was a lot of different suggestions. Uh, we'd love to play in Europe, wouldn't we? I don't know what... Uh, who gets into Europe? Do we get this? Uh, league winners, Europa League. Oh, so PSV would be uh, into the playoffs for the Champions League. And then I guess, oh, it's the cup winners? Go into the, uh, oh, no. Into the Europa League. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. We lost the last game. We lost the game before that. We drew the game before that. And we lost the game before that. And we lost the game before that. And the game before that. We haven't won since we beat Anderlecht all the way back on the 29th of January. <sighs> Such a great start to the season, but we've dropped off massively. Can we pull things back today? Well, Eggy starts, as he always does. Sideways arrow is unfortunate. He's gotten die on a blue arrow ahead of him, and then the uh, dynamic duo of Ampoma and Boljevic either side of him. Can we get a much-needed win today? Come on, then. So I would think that Eggy's agent is pretty busy at the moment. I imagine he's been fielding calls from around Europe. There's no doubt that Eggy's performances this year in the Jupiler League will have been noticed. They will have made waves. Can we continue them today? Has some Beveren here looking to slowly build play. Eggy trying to find space between the lines. It's a good ball to Ampoma. Eggy's made a good run. Ampoma looks for him. Oh, he's done really well to get to that. Digs out across. Difficult opportunity for Ndai. And they do get it clear. Ndai drops deep, lays it off to Eggy. Sit wide to the right back. Got no one to look for. Bolivich will get to this though, finds Eggy, all into Indai, he holds it up well, and that's posted over the top to Indai, what a ball, what a take, does well to turn back, but Eggy just watched, didn't get close enough to his centre forward there, ball in, looking for Indai, can he get the ball into Eggy, oh, Eggy's offside, no, shot comes in, and we can't get to it, oh, Indai went for Bolivich there, when Eggy probably had the better position, Ball into Mirich, the big centre forward, gets away from his man, finds Benchab. Shot comes in. Oh, we deal with it. And after having all the ball, all the possession in the first 15 minutes, Lockerin suddenly turning up the uh, turning up the pace. Stretching us here. Side of his man well. Slips it inside to Boljevic. Looks for Indai. The centre forward takes it down. Eggy's there. Is that ball to us? No, it's not. But it will be down the line into Eggy. Low ball in, looking for Indai, and that's a good bit of defending. Good break there from Waslan Beveren. Promising. Another corner here for Waslan Beveren. We've done absolutely nothing in this half. We've had all the possession, done nothing with it. Could it be a set piece? Eggy looks to launch onto the far post. Bolivic rises well, and the header comes in. DeWolf with an easy save. Indai, great header on into Eggy. Could there be a chance created here? That's a lovely ball in from Eggy back into Indai. Can he finish it off here? No, the defender makes up the ground really well. First chance created there properly from Eggy. Can we find something from this corner? We've had a couple, not really been able to do much. We'll try a flat, straight one to the edge of the six-yard box. That's looking good, and Dyrell launches himself into the air. 
Back out to Eggy here. Put a ball. Oh, that's an awful cross. <laughs> what was that? And that is half time here. And, well, it's... I don't think the Waslam Beveren fans will be unhappy. They'll probably have resisted the temptation to boo, which must be difficult for them considering the run that we're on, but we have had a lot of possession. If we can keep the ball as we did in the first half, but create a few more chances, then I reckon we should be able to win this one. We really, really need to turn around this run of horrible form. Let's do it. Space now for the right back. Banzo's made an excellent run and he'll look for him. He's headed away. Can we get the ball back? No, we can't. Struggling here. Oh, that's well won. Oh, Eggy, lovely footwork into the space. Now he's got loads of options ahead of him. It's all opened up here. Ooh, and that's a big tackle, and Eggy goes to the ground. Just had almost too many options there. Didn't take any of them. Tried to work the shooting opportunity for himself, and it was the wrong choice. Oh, that's fallen kindly to Eggy. Space has opened up through the centre. Lays it off. That's a great ball, Boljevic. No, Boljevic. That was it. 74 minutes gone. Eggy, I'm sure, will be substituted as soon as the ball goes dead here. Could be out of time to influence this game. Oh, this is better here from Waslam Beveren. Vanzo now. One more ball. That's not the ball we wanted, but we'll take it. No. It fouled there, surely. Eggy will get to it. He'll have another chance. Back to Ampoma. Oh, we've lost everything from that break. The ball into Eggy just wasn't good enough in the first place. Oh, that's incredible play. No! Can we launch one final break here? Eggy just wants it simple in the middle. Does find Vanzo. Ah! Oh, Eggy gets there. It was fouled. Harshly. And unfortunately, that will probably be his last touch of the game. Couldn't launch the break. And oh, we've done absolutely nothing in this game. It's been a horrible game for Eggy. Horrible game for Waslin Beveren. And that is Eggy done. There's only a minute left here. Can we salvage the win? Sometimes they do when Eggy goes off. Actually, quite often we've seen that. Can mass up, put the right ball in here. Ooh, so few chances created. Oh, we can't keep it in. That is just typical of us today. And that will be full time here in the Free Foul Stadion. And the Wazen Beveren fans, if there are boos ringing out, still without a win in what must be approaching 10 games now. And uh, it was toothless today, absolutely toothless. We weren't able to manage a single shot on target in that second half. Just not good enough. Not good enough at all. Eggy gets mad of the match somehow. Quite know what he did to deserve that. Just just couldn't work anything. Just looked out of ideas, out of energy, out of inspiration. And probably out of the race now for that Europa League spot. But at least we didn't lose. And Antwerp won. That's unfortunate. We do move up though. That's good. Antwerp now. Three points ahead of us. The goal difference is going to be what sinks us here. Even if we beat Antwerp. We are up to 70 rated now. That's good. And turning into a very tidy little player. 73 finishing. We didn't even have a chance to use that in this game. Because there just weren't any chances to be finished. So up against Kortik now. And we're in the starting lineup. Of course we are. Let's get a win. Come on. Nine matches without a win. Carter Kleesia's job has got to be on the line here. There's no way he keeps his job. If we make it ten games without a win. Eggy on good form. Good. In Dow ahead of us. Not ideal. But he's on a blue. Just got to get the win today. They've got 60 rated defenders and a 60 rated goalkeeper. Nothing less will do. Come on. So the travelling Waslam Beveren fans today must be starting to lose their patience with this side. An incredible start to the season. Actually, no, hang on. They can't really complain, can they? The beginning of this season, Waslam Beveren expected to be fighting relegation, maybe. Maybe a mid-table finish was all they could have really hoped for. But we flirted with the playoffs, and now we still have a chance of Europa League football. So let's just uh, get behind our side, shall we, guys? Let's see if Eggy can find something today, and he's... Fortunately, come across the ball here and then lost it again. High ball. Can Dow get the header here? He can. That's a great take. I think he's seen the run of Boljevic speeding down that right-hand side. Can he put a good ball into the box? Cuts back. That's unfortunate that he's decided to do that because we lose all the momentum from that attack. Damn it. Come on. Just feels like there's a huge disconnect between every single player in this side at the moment. No one's quite doing the right thing. Eggy into Boljevic again, and he loses it, but he's managed to smuggle it out. Eggy surely offside here, and he's not going to get to it anyway. Ah. Kortik still looking the brighter of the two sides. Oh, that's well cut out, but straight back into Chevalier. Now loads of space for Quali. They certainly look the more likely team to score in this first half an hour. He's played around nicely. Quali. Oh, and he's found space here. Ball inside to Azhagun. That's well dealt with, actually, in the end. And now we could have a chance. Eggy's pulled wide. 
That's a nice ball out to him. Into Ampoma. Ball into Eggy. He's like, oh, it's been missed by all the defenders. Now Eggy threw on goal. Can he finish this off? Oh, just side foots it past the right hand post. Not quite sure what happened with the defenders here. They all seem to run into each other. Eggy able to recover. Threw on goal. Under pressure here. Looks to side foot it. Pass the keeper to his left hand side. Just hasn't had many chances to practice that finishing recently. And that was the best chance he's had in many games. And Poman out. Lots of opportunities for Waslin Beveren to get forward here. That's the wrong pass. Fuck's sake. Decision making's gone out of the window. Eggy has been infected by the horrible play. The plague of awful play for Waslin Beveren. Nice layoff into Eggy here. Oh, why? Just everything is wrong. Making the wrong choices every time. Oh, 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 this is dangerous here. Eggy considered the pass through, but he's gone alone. Nice reverse pass out to Bolyovic. That wasn't the right play. Again, the decision making is just off. It's just wrong. Should have put the striker through there first time. Just wasn't sure if he was going to be able to make his way past the defender. We didn't even give him a chance to. We lost all of the uh, attacking impetus there. Eggy passed his man. Into the striker. Lays it off to Ampoma. It's probably too much here. Eggy goes short. Should have squared it. What are you doing? Oh my god. This is what happens when you're in bad form. You panic. You rush things. But a square ball here would have been a tap in for the striker. F god damn it. Eggy. Can we make amends here with a well whipped in corner? Yes, we can. That's a great one. Headers there over the bar and that's half time. And Eggy is having an absolute nightmare. When we need him most, he's letting us down. It's a great goal kick into Eggy in a load of space. Finds Boljevic. He lays it off. Boljevic now first time into Eggy. Vanzo just on the field. Eggy lays it into him. First touch. Effort saved. <sighs> At least that time we made the right decision. Eggy inside now. Looks to curl one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There it is. Inspiration finally from Eggy Messi. And that had Eggy Messi written all over it. And there is the celebration that we just have not seen enough of in the last 10 games. But that was inspired. Only one thing in his mind when the ball came into him there. Yeah, put a good ball into Vanzo. And that was uh, narrowly saved, but a lovely touch straight away onto his left foot. And it's a delicious curl. And then off the post as well for extra style points. And finally, is this the goal that will take us to a much, much needed win? Ezekiel, great ball over the top into Chevalier. One on one with the keeper now. Waslin Beveren defenders doing a great job of getting back there. They've had a lot of stick this season, but that was pretty decent. Ball in, Ezekiel with the header. Oh, good save. Kortik. Definitely upping their game now after going behind. Ezekiel. Back to Rougeau. Flat ball in is dealt with. And now Eggy. Can play it into uh, Ampoma. Checks his run. Vanzo little back heel into Eggy. Nuts. Not the right ball to Dierks. Oh, uh, that's poor. Totally ruined that counter attack there. Dierks inside to Eggy. Can slip in Ampoma. It's an awful ball into Dierks, but he hits it on the volley. It's well over. Eggy just not quite making the right choices with the passes there. None of them really where we wanted them to be. Eggy into Vanzo. Oh, puts a nice reverse ball. Looking for Dierks now. Can he find Eggy? No! Golubovic. Good defending. Three minutes left here. Can we hang on for a massive three points? It could be a season-defining win here. After one moment of brilliance from Eggy. Two minutes left. Kortik looking to put together one final attack. It's Kuali who's been their danger man. But this, the right back today has been absolutely huge for us. He's had so much to do. And every time he's been called upon, he's done a pretty damn good job. Ooh, we get a final opportunity on goal here. Eggy is pushed through by Ampoma. Just to hold it up. Slips through the left back. Can he get to this? Puts the ball in. Near post is Fanzo. And that is a penalty. And that could be a penalty for Eggy. Now, I don't think I've managed to score a penalty across Become a Legend or Master League Story Mode this season. Manzo there taken out. That is a definite penalty. And it's going to be Eggy to take this one. 
Now, we've been going bottom left, bottom right. That's not been working. We're going to go top corner. We're going to go top left. Not too much on it. Let's get the uh, direction right. Yes, finally. Eggy gets a penalty. Eggy gets his second of the game. And, uh, yeah, I think all in all, we deserve to win this one. We've not been great. I mean, the whole team just looks like a bunch of strangers at the moment. We're not playing with anywhere near the fluidity and uh, well, just the creativity that we had earlier in the season. But ultimately, though, we've got the win here today, and that is absolutely key. The travelling fans finally repaid for their, uh, well, for their loyalty, for following us home and away. And it's Eggy with two goals today. Will that make him the league's top scorer? It may well do. And how will that see us progress in our playoff group? I mean, we did create a lot more chances. Uh, Kortik were poor on the day. Eggy finally with a good game. Two goals to his name. That first one, whew, whew. he's really been looking poor when it comes to the basics, but that was something special, wasn't it? An Antwerp win. That's a shame. That's going to make things very difficult for us. Even a win against them is going to have to be one of many, many goals. And we're up to 71 there. We're flying. We're not on a dramatic improvement, are we? It's no longer in our hands. Can uh, make it definitely interesting on the final day of the playoffs by getting a win today. Eggy on good form again. Forte ahead of him. And Blue, Arrow, and Pomas and Boljevic either side. This is it. This is where it happens. Antwerp are a strong side. They've got a very strong back line. But a very weak goalkeeper in today. 61 rated. Get some pot shots off, I think. Let's do it. So thank you for all the kind words and the comments of the last episode. As I said, I was very proud to reach 10,000 subscribers last week. And uh, I spoke about maybe what I could do to celebrate those 10,000 subscribers. Well, it will be a live stream. And I think I'm going to try and coincide it with, fingers crossed, we get there. Leeds United in the playoffs in Master League Story Mode. So that could be happening pff, maybe three weeks away, two weeks away. So, uh, yeah, I'll let you know. Hopefully you can all join me. I'll be doing some Q&As and that sort of stuff as well. It'll be a nice long stream, talking two or three hours. So uh, we should get a chance to chat, hopefully enjoy some good football. And, uh, yeah, pat me on the back for uh, 10,000 subscribers. Right, let's win this now against Antwerp. Let's do it. Van Damme now, low ball in, dangerous, well dealt with. Oh, an eggy. Absolutely brutalised there. That was two-footed. That's got to be a yellow card. It's just going to be a talking to, but that was nasty. Eggy didn't seem to be paying much attention there. And then, boom, you pay attention to that. Studs up for me. All right, we've got Forte up front today. Try and look for the knockdown. Oh, there we go short. Oh, no. That's poor. Will we be made to pay for that? As we have so many times this season. No, Ampoma does really well. And now Forte. Oh, that's a great ball into Eggy. Will he keep this in? He will. Oh, he does the man for pace. Puts a ball up to the far post looking for Boljevic. Wasn't his best. Good throw out here. And now Eggy. Run, Ampoma. Where are you going? No. No. Communication breakdown there for fuck's sake. Awful half of football. Awful. You can understand Antwerp not wanting to take any chances. They've pretty much got this playoff sewn up. But they've had all the possession in. Not a single shot on target from either side. Only 37% for Maslin Beverly. We need the win today. This isn't good enough. We need to see more. Come on. Long ball. Looking for Boljevic. Good header on into Eggy. Can slip through Boljevic. Moves it on to the right back. Two to aim for in the box. Short ball into Eggy's a nice one. Eggy turns back inside. Oh, Bolivich, get out of the fucking way. Oh, how is that a foul? Ah, oh. Easily cut out there. And that's a good ball out to Eggy. Does Van Dam. Has to go back inside of him again. Finds Bolivich. This is well worked. Forte into Ampoma. Out to Eggy. First time into Bolivich. Squares it now. Forte. Oh, good fall to Ampoma. No. Better though. Much better. Eggy with a flash of brilliance to uh, start off that chance. Some good interplay. Just couldn't quite finish it off. Forte did well. Keeper though, brave. Oh, so nearly won it back, but we've done enough. Starting to turn the screw a bit now. Good ball into Ampoma. Eggy square. Eggy! Yes! Yes! And Poma shows great pace. And Eggy, right place, right time. Lovely run. Stayed on side. And then it came in. He was under a lot of pressure from the Antwerp defenders. But there he is. Mr. Cool finishes well. And that's his uh, third now in the last two games. It was always going to have to be Eggy who inspired 
Waslam Beveren to actually start winning some games. He did really well to hold off the big centre-back there. Finishing across the keeper as well. Probably wasn't what he expected. And Poma with the good square ball. Eggy, really good play. About half the size of that centre-back. But still did enough to sweep it goalward. And now can we hang on to make things very, very interesting in the final game of the playoffs. Now Van Damme into Rodriguez. It's the most likely to create something here. Back to Yatabu. Oh, fuck's sake. That was just lucky, wasn't it? Just lucky there for Antwerp. Ball into the box. Looked like it had been dealt with. Came off a Waslam Beveren player. Defender's too slow to react. And then it was well cut back and well finished. Straight away, though, Eggy's goal has been nullified. Straight away, our chances of uh, finding something on the final day of the season out of the window. Eggy, lovely footwork. And he's away. Two ahead of him now. Surely, surely the vital goal will come now. Into Forte. No, too much. No, why didn't I go alone? Why? One more chance here. Oh, Eggy, lovely. Ball in, looking for Forte at the near post. No, he heads over and that's it. Season over, season done. And Eggy had a massive chance there. The counter-attack was on. Why did we pass it? Stupid. That's it. It's all done. All done. Eggy was good today, but not good enough. Chances of uh, the Europa League spot are out of the window. It would have been a big ask anyway. We would have needed Antwerp to lose on the final day. But that's it. That's done. That's the season over. I think he's made it up to 71 overall rating. 16 goals in 43 appearances. 6.1 average rating. All very good. A good season. So, despite the disappointment, Eggy does make it into the team of the season. As you'd expect, he was excellent. And we did make it to uh, Jupiter League. Top scorer, an attacking midfielder, scoring the most goals in the season. That's pretty impressive. But all in all, an incredible season. So, next episode, well, we're going to be getting our agent busy. Hopefully he can find us uh, a new club. I think Eri Division is definitely the way. I think even if we had got Europa League, probably still would have wanted to move on. I think he's had an incredible season, but I think it's been enough for him to move up the uh, coefficients in terms of the leagues he's playing in. Maybe one day we'll be in the Premier League or Serie A, but I think for now the area division is the perfect stepping stone for a player with such great potential. Find out what happens in that in the next episode. I'll see you in a bit.